Go on, everybody. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be doing an experiment. So, you can flash the Bruce firmware on a T Deck, but I have a T Deck Plus here. So, basically, this thing has a battery built into it, and it's a really nice device. I use this currently for uh, my Mesh Tastic um, off grid comms. And uh, I'm going to basically try to flash Bruce onto this. I mean, it's basically a T Deck, it just has. Uh, it's a little bit more refined, and this this is the plus version, so you get the nice case as it comes with a battery. So I'm going to try to turn this into like a Flipper Zero. All right, so we're on the Bruce Web Flasher. Um, I'm going to leave the link in the description. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and scroll down to says Lily Go. I already see here it says T-Deck Plus, so it looks like they already have it. So click on that. We're going to click connect. Before I do that, let me plug everything in. Okay, so we're plugged in here. So let's go ahead and hit connect. All right, it's showing it right here. So I have no idea what to, what to expect. This is my first time doing. Okay, that was, seemed a little too easy. Okay. So we're gonna figure out what the boot button is. If I had to guess, it's the center button. So let's go ahead and try this again. Okay, so I held down the middle button when I turned it on, so the screen's staying black. And it's showing a little bit of a different uh, name here this time around, so I think we did it. So we're gonna hit connect, see if it works this time. All right, seems like it works. Okay, so when you do it, again, hold down the middle button right here, the little trackball and uh, turn it on and then if you did it right the screen will turn on and you'll see the funky uh, name that pops up over there so all right we're just gonna wait for this to go it says it's complete so let's go ahead and disconnect it turn it off turn it back on and see what happens okay that's wow that's pretty cool what That is so cool. Touch screen, right? All right, so it's touch screen doesn't work now. All right, so it looks like you, lo I lo you lose touch screen capabilities. I like that it tells you your battery percentage. A little buggy. This seems really buggy, actually. But okay, let's go ahead. Wi-Fi. So you don't get that, mo okay, hold on. Let's see what we can find here. Wi-Fi attacks, deauth flood. And let's get our Wi-Fi nugget. Okay, so I have my Wi-Fi nugget set up here. So this is programmed to let me know if there's any deauthentication attacks going on around me. So we're about to test it right now. So let's do deauth flood. And if it senses it, it will get angry. Well, it will die. One of the two. Okay, looks like it started. And there you go. So it, it does work. So there you go. So that's a successful deauthentication attack test. I love how big this screen is. I, here, one thing about this is that, like, you could keep this in your pocket and it looks like a phone. Like, it just looks like an old school BlackBerry. I think that's such, I think that's really cool. All right, let's go ahead and test a couple other things. And I want to give you guys like a comparison. So I have the Bruce firmware on the T enabled here. And, but you can see the screen, how bright it is on the uh, T-Deck Plus here. Like, I just like it because how, how big it actually is. That's incredible. So I'm curious to see what else this thing can do. But I wanted to give you like a size comparison and then the, the color of the screen and how bright it is. Like this is like, you can tell this screen is definitely better. And, look, and this one just seems small. I mean, again, if compared to a Flipper Zero, so if we go ahead and grab the Flipper here, I mean, it's just, it's huge. I think the T-enabled actually is a bigger screen. But, okay, let's do some more pen testing. All right, I'm going to test the IR features here. So I'm going to see if I can turn off the TV here. North America. So let's see if this thing turns off the TV. 
Okay, so that didn't work. So I don't think this has like IR capabilities. And maybe there's a version of this that does, but for this, the, for the T-Deck Plus, it didn't work. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back. So I can't find the back button when you're running this stuff. So if I just hit this one, that restarts it. So let we'll this thing boot up and we'll try something else. It says it has Bluetooth as well. So see what the Bluetooth is. Bluetooth. This trackball is super sensitive. BLE scan. Let's see if it scans. I like that. Okay. Nice. Okay. So it does scan pretty good. I want to see what happens if we click on something. There you go, mesh tastic. It says right that that is my device upstairs. Let's click on it. All right, I like that a lot. Okay, so you can really do some recon here with the Bluetooth, but what else can you do? Okay, so we just sent a payload. A Bluetooth payload. Did it seem like it did anything? But we'll try something else. I'm all. See if we get that to work. Okay, it's spamming. I don't see anything popping up at any of my devices right now. And again, to hit the if I hit the back button. Oh, that worked that time. So it's weird. Some of them, the back button works, and some of the stuff I do on here, it doesn't. Let me try one more Bluetooth one. Bluetooth. BL. I love the scanning feature. That was pretty nice. Uh, Bluetooth keyboard, iOS, Windows spam. I would spam Windows. See if we get that to work. Okay, nothing's going on. Okay. okay, so the only feature I found that worked really well was the Wi-Fi stuff. But beside that, yeah, I, I like that I could scan Bluetooth pretty easily, and I like I like this big screen. Now, maybe later on, if they maybe update this a little bit more and integrate it better with uh, Bruce firmware with this device, maybe it'll be a viable option. But <clears throat> this is pretty expensive. Um, I, I would recommend getting the T enabled if you wanted to create something like this. At least this is more for a like Flipper Zero. I mean, this looks just like one and it has a lot more features already built into it. Like this is made to be like a Flipper Zero. This isn't. This is made to be like a Mesh-tastic device. So I'm going to be putting Mesh-tastic back on this thing. Um, it, it's a really cool concept. I would love to have like a fully functioning uh one of these, uh, but 90% of this stuff doesn't really work too well. I mean, the only thing I got to work was the Wi-Fi stuff. Beside that, it's really cool though. I love the screen. I love how bright it is and like how big it is. I like that it's a phone that I could put it in my pocket and it looks very discreet. But if I had it at the end of the day, I think this goes for $80. This is like for, I think this goes for, I think 45 for one of these. I'll put the actual price in the description. I would, you, you were better off buying one of these, the T enables, especially if you wanted a flip of zero type of uh, experience. You can do a lot more with this. So, but it's pretty cool though. Still pretty cool. All right. I'm going to be ending this video. Thank you very much for watching. And that's how you put the Bruce firmware on this device. Do I recommend it? Not really. I mean, it's cool, but I will be putting Meshtastic immediately back on this device. Thanks for watching. Remember, safety is an illusion. I'll see you guys in the next video.